Dude, this is awesome. This was yeah. like a dream come true just now. All right, by now you guys know I'm addicted to coffee and especially espresso. This is the OG Cafe Grumpy right here, the first one. I'm gonna head over to the roastery down the street, meet up with my buddy Ali, he's a barista, and he's gonna really walk me through what goes in to making a great cup of espresso and coffee, come on. The guy that really got me into coffee and got me more interested in it is right here. This is Ali. So dude, I'm so happy we're here to kind of walk around and kind of understand a lot more about really what goes into making a great cup of coffee every day. So First thing is weighing the coffee. Weighing the coffee, then after weighing the coffee, it comes here. Sure. And then the coffee shorts in. It goes it, into the actual it drum. It goes into the actual drum. So this is the afterburner right here. The afterburner? Yes. The afterburner. So um, the coffee comes down. This is where you just see what's going on inside. What the color is. Yes. Okay. What the color it, it, is. It's essentially, this is a drum. Yes. And it's like a wa it's like a dryer. It's a dryer, it's just, just like turning the also coffee. Also burning. Yeah. So the beans, when they're finally roasted, they come in here. So and these bins. Yes, these bins before it goes to packaging. Everything is done by hand. See Big Daddy? <laughs> yeah. After it goes into Big Daddy, it will just come here. After weighing and checking, it will just have it closed. This is uh, the cupping. This is like one of the first things you do every morning just to know what kind of coffee you're going to put into the roaster okay. after using the sample roaster right here. Right. Mm -hmm. So to know this is the profile I'm looking for, this is the kind of coffee I want to use, or this is the kind of coffee I'm going to roast today, or this is the kind of coffee I want to purchase. Mm -hmm. So this table is very crucial to the yeah. whole process. Yeah. So we're going to grind some coffee. So you can even smell it. I mean, that's the best smell in a coffee in a coffee shop. Totally. Yeah, it's very important to have like two different, so you know which one has the defect. So you're just kind of skimming all the stuff off the top. Yeah, so you can have uh, something to test. So I think now we can. We can test I'll and let you go first. Yeah, I will. In case it's way go. too hot. It's great. Uh, sip a little bit of it, just a little by little, so you fill your palate. You want to write down probably what kind of notes you're testing, mm -hmm. right? So you don't want to influence the other person's palate. Because right. it's easier for me to influence you if I start saying it's citrusy or it's chocolatey or. This and that. And it's someone just, like me is going, yeah. Yeah, just wow, oh yeah, that's what I'm amazing. Right, right. But if you let's say I like I write down chocolatey and citrusy and lime and you write the same thing without knowing that's what I wrote and we compare or not, that's like you'd be like, oh wow, great, this is what it is, you know? Probably, yeah. Yes. Cool. Many of the most important decisions right here in this very humble table. This is like a, a humble lab table. Yeah. Right here. A humble yeah. lab. Yeah. Way to put it. Should we go to the should we go to the front of the store and, and, and watch Ali make do espresso. his magic, make an espresso? So when you come in the first thing in the morning, heat up the machine. Of course you fill up your hopper, your grinder, and then you have to weigh your coffee every morning. So before you brew you have to rinse make sure there's no residue. So you see the way it comes down, you have to even it out. So after this, you just tap. So you have your timer. Can I try to make one? Yes. Oh, but see, but it's good though. You can tell the stream of it. So, it's almost fine, but it's not. You Why? can tell there's water coming, the tapping. You did tap it enough. Uh, you can tell there's water which came I should have stamped, I, I yeah, have tamped it harder? Yeah. Mm. See, if I made this at home, I'd, I'd be like doing cartwheels. So now a I can- A few success for me I and a fail for Ali. <laughs> I'm not quite yet grumpy barista. It, it, it does take uh, time. And this guy drinks a lot of coffee, so he will know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 
Yes, it's very important for, for, for barista to know his customer. Yeah. People should have experience, not only about drinking coffee, that's how I see it. You're coming in a coffee shop, you know, good music, good people around, enjoying your coffee, feel like it's worth spending $4. Yeah, that's what I feel like will make a successful barista or successful business. I want to make you feel like I will spend five bucks, but it's worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, this is so, awesome. This is yeah. like a dream come true just now. Yeah, uh, yeah. Thanks so much, man. That was great, man. Thank great. you. It was that good was seeing awesome. you again. Yeah. Me too, man. All right. So that was awesome for me. It was great seeing my buddy Ali uh, from roasting to sampling to becoming a very, very subpar barista at Cafe Grumpy and getting to do that behind the counter was awesome. I'm a huge coffee nerd, so I really appreciate you guys coming on this journey with me and hopefully you've learned something a little bit about your next uh, cup of coffee uh, when you're at the cafe. Appreciate it.